Hey there folks, it is Rob, and welcome to a brand new box set review. Now I have plenty of these on my channel, uh, definitely check them out if you haven't seen them, and I plan to do a lot more, because I have a ton of box sets. I love box sets, personally. There are people who like steel books, and there's people who like digi books and stuff like that. I love box sets, or collections, and... <clears throat> I saw this one at my local Goodwill for like $2, um, and it's in really, really good condition. And it is the Resident Evil Collection box set. Now, this is the Blu-ray box set that includes all five Resident Evil films. Now, this is before the final chapter, and, you know, obviously it doesn't include that. But... Really awesome box set. Even though I think the movies are just, you know, okay here and there. I like the first one, third one, all, you know. But um, it was really nice to find them all on Blu-ray here. Um, I do have the final chapter, but that's on DVD. But we're just talking about the first five here. So on the cover, you have Mila Jovich right there as Alice with her guns. And you got the Umbrella logo behind her. So that's pretty cool. Oops. So right here, you have the spine of uh, all five films. Then we're going to turn it over on the back here. And there you have what the uh, Blu-rays look like there. And kind of the cast and crew. Um, all of them are rated R. Stuff like that. Says Resident Evil. We'll turn it like this on the spine of the box. Resident Evil Collection. So, pretty cool. So, let's take these out and go over them individually. Let's take these out here. We're just going to set this aside so I can have some room. All right. So, first up. Of course, we have the very first movie, Resident Evil. Um, I've stated before, I do like this movie. Um, I think it could have been better, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, they didn't really follow too close to the games. I kind of wish they would have uh, followed, you know, with, with some of the characters from the games, but... Like I said, it is what it is, but here we go. There's the back. Um, it's got some special features. You got like alternate ending with the director, Paul Anderson, um, cast and filmmakers commentary, stuff like that. Pretty cool. Oh, and it's got the little snap case thing there. Make sure it's secure. There's the inside. Here's the first one. All right. Next up, we have Resident Evil Apocalypse. I've always liked that cover. I thought that cover was always cool. You got the dog there. Alice looks like she's about to kick ass. Nemesis. <clears throat> I think this one was a little bit... <clears throat> this one went a little bit too overboard. I think it was more cheesy and more lighthearted in a way than the, the first movie. It's got special features, all that. And there's the inside. Shut that. There's the second movie. Okay. Moving on to Resident Evil Extinction, which is the third movie. Now, I like this movie. I don't know. A lot of people give this movie crap. Um... <clears throat> I like the whole, like, Mad Max setting. I, I, I don't know. I just think it's refreshing. Um, and it's so desolate, and it just makes you feel like there's no help coming. I, I don't know. That's just the vibe that I get from this film. Oops. And you got the back there. Show some images. You got Allie Larder as Claire. I thought that was a nice touch. Um some of the special features, you got deleted scenes, commentary, all that stuff. So 
pretty cool. And there's the disc on the inside. Okay, here we got the fourth film. Resident Evil Afterlife. <clears throat> I think this movie is kind of a mess. Um, but, <laughs> I mean, there's some good moments. I will say that. Um, but with all the Alice's and stuff, it's just kind of a mess. Like, with all the, like, the clone stuff, um, they kind of mix Las Plagas in this movie as well. There's a lot of action. I do like this disc art with the umbrella image for afterlife. Okay, so last here we have Resident Evil Retribution. Now, <clears throat> I think the first 10 minutes of this movie is really cool. But again, it just kind of goes overboard. They bring some characters in from like the first game. Um you got Barry Burton there. Um, they even bring back, um, um, oh, what's her face? Michelle Rodriguez. Um, you got Ada Wong and you even got Leon Kennedy. So it's almost like they're just like, okay, let's just throw everybody, you know, let's just add everybody <laughs> pretty much. Um, but, you know, that could be good or bad depending on what you want. It does have special features. And the, there's the disc there. So, yeah, that is the Resident Evil collection. Blu-ray box set, guys. Um, I think it's a pretty good box set for what it is. It didn't really cost me anything, honestly. It didn't. Like I said, it was like a couple of bucks, <clears throat> but it's been a good box set for me. I think it displays nice. It's pretty thick. Um, so, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this box set review. Stay tuned for more box set reviews. Um, like I said, I have a ton to show. So let me know in the comments what you think of this set. Do you like the Resident Evil movies? And uh, yeah, this is Rob signing off. See you guys in the next one.